Hey YouTube, Dieter Mag 7 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. I believe this one was my file. Yes, it is. <clears throat> if you recall from last episode, we're in Sector One, and we didn't de de disable the I think five. We need to clear the five atmosphere normalizers or. Now I forget what they're called. Either way, Sector 1's not too hard. Also, I've been informed by Soda that I missed something in the first boss room. Apparently there's another power-up in there. So I'm gonna have to go back later as soon as I can and check that out. Just Pro tip, run through that room. Cause that guy comes. Here's the first one, the atmosphere stabilizers, that's what they're called. Let me just get to it and I'll explain how to defeat it. Basically, you need to shoot this thing three times. With three missiles, that is. And if there's enemies in the area, they'll keep infinitely respawning until you deal with it. Ow. Yeah, you can beat these guys, in case you didn't know that. Let's just get another free E-Tank. These guys are totally killable. You just gotta wait till you're under them and then shoot them. I believe there's one right over here. Yep, I can hear it. Ow! He actually hit me. I don't know. I'm finding zero missions hard mode was harder so far. This is pretty easy so far. Easy, easy. Maybe we'll get through the whole sector today. After all. Let's go over here. <clears throat> so why the hell not? Oh. You have to wait for them to charge at you and then shoot them in the back. Because they have a big skull there. Can't wait till I get a certain weapon to deal with these guys. Easier. Or a single missile will also work. Oh, lava everywhere. Let's check what's over here. I don't have the health to check what's in the lava right now. I think there's something like right over there somewhere. They can get way later in the game. Right, space pirates, at least I believe. Oh, come on. Only susceptible to missiles. It only takes a single missile to deal with them, though. Ow. You actually hit me. For a really good amount of damage, too. There's a lot of them. Get back here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, avoid getting hit, touched directly by them. It hurts a lot. I didn't even see him. Whoops. Another stabilizer. Oh, it's right there. You have to hit it from a certain side, however. As you can see, X particles keep coming off of it. This is how they're breeding right now. Might as well check what's down here. Nothing! It's just a pit for you to fall into. Ow. 
Ow! He came out of nowhere. I've taken quite a bit of damage, haven't I? I need to be a little bit more careful. Ah, oh, this part. Oh, I don't have the power up yet. So you can't even figure out how to get into there yet. And this is how you kill this thing. Right up here. My third missile missed. That's a lot of dudes. Yeah, I got some health missiles back. Oh, right. There's a room up there we can check. I heard team speak in the background. I didn't know. I realized I was still in it. You can find a missile expansion in here. It's a really easy one to get. Oops. Actually, no. I think I can do it if you're just down here. Yep. And I get to climb through more space pirates. Fun! I missed. Maybe I can hit him from here. Ow. You bastard. I just got my health back, too. That sucked. Wasn't there something... Huh. Could have there was something there. This is a one-way door. It only works when you shoot this thing. And as soon as you leave the room, it'll reset itself. I'll demonstrate that now. See? It's gone. Yeah, they can shoot you off. Don't be afraid to use missiles if you need to. It's a pain in the ass to get back up. There we go. And there's the boss door. See? We've made a pretty fair path through the sector so far. You should have no problems navigating Sector 1. <coughs> Let us go save before fighting the Eidor and shit. Because as we all know, when there's an Eidor, there's a boss behind it. Ow! I'm an idiot. Then again, the Eidor. Oh yeah, the enemies spawn infinitely in that room, so if you want, you can grind off the enemies there to get full health and missiles. Oh right, you have to be careful here. Because you're on a ladder. Other than that, it's no issue. See, full health and missiles. So we only have 20 missiles for this guy. Who's this guy again? Oh! Crap. For these types of X cores, you have to wait until that thing opens. If you don't shoot it in time, it'll shoot at you instead. But as well, as soon as you shoot at it, it'll fire something at you. Other than that, it's probably easier than the first boss was, to be honest. The first boss required more jumping around and dodging. With that, we have gotten the charge beam. With the charge beam, our shot's also a little bit wider. And it also does slightly more damage. Which is very nifty. Very, very nifty to have. Aha! There was something here. Wait a moment. You can't tell without a certain power, but if you fire missiles out there, you can get through early. I think you need one more. Yep. To get to this crazy room. The charge beam, you can charge it and then have a lot more attack with your normal beam. As well as, if you run out of missiles, it's the only way to damage bosses for the most part. Hell, only the first boss was vulnerable to the normal beam. Anyway, for that boss, we encountered this thing.
but however will we hit it? See, those guys die a lot quicker now. But you go behind it, of course. And we've now gotten the X off of all the stabilizers in this level. And there's a save point just over there. As well as the one-way door. Let us use it. Because save early, save often. And I wonder if you see that. Too late. There we go. This is a use of wall jumping. Normally you would need space jump to get up here, but if you know how to wall jump, you can get a missile expansion up here. Wall jumping is useful. However, keep in mind that if you're wall jumping up a single wall, I'll find somewhere to demonstrate that soon. I'll hold left, see? Until you reach the height of your jump, you cannot go left. That prevents climbing up a single wall like you could in Zero Mission in Super Metroid. We just say... No, we don't have bombs yet. I swear there was a power up somewhere in that lava earlier. Oh god. Ah oh, yes, the sound of holding a charge beam for a while. If you're playing this game and you like using it, get used to it. You're going to be hearing it a lot. Either way, now we just have to leave the sector. You can kill those guys. As well, here is another ability of the charge beam. If you charge it and then spin jump, you can kill weak enemies with it. And the stronger ones, you'll still get hurt, but they'll still be damaged. I believe we're full on everything, so we don't need the recharge room. I apologize for my sniffing today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe my nose is just stuffy is all. Anyway, now we need to go to Sector TRO, also known as Sector 2. Looks like we'll actually be able to get some stuff done in it today. Because we still have time. So let us go! Onwards to adventure! Onwards to more Moonspeak! I forget what Samus is saying here. Like I said, if you care about what the text is in this game, play the North American version first. Other way, you just cut across here. Even if you wanted to, you can't go up here yet. It cuts you off from there. Like I said, Fusion does that a lot. Soda says this game is easier to 100% than Zero Mission, though I don't know how that's true. Z Fusion, it locks you at a ton. Zero Mission, you can go back to every area at the end of the game with all your power-ups. A deceptively small sector. We have learned the name of that thing! The SAX. Which is supposed to be mean Samus X. Essentially, it's a parasite that came off of your suit when you were originally infected. So you gotta watch out for the SAX in here. It will fuck you up. Anyway, we need to go to the data room to get a new power-up. While also being careful of the SAX.
Oh, right. I'm full. Whoops. I wasted some time. Don't let those enemies t actually touch you. They hurt surprisingly a lot. Can you do anything in here yet? Ow. Those were a classic Metroid enemy, but anyway, we can't get over this yet. It'll just knock us back if we hit it. So keep that in mind for later. Wow, I can't believe I actually remember there was an enemy right there. Lots of enemies in here. Then again, we technically don't really need to kill any enemies. Can the charge jump? Oh god. No. Keep in mind, the charge jump can kill those enemies if you're having trouble hitting them. It can't kill those enemies. And now you know how much damage they do. They do a lot. They do a lot of damage. We can't get through there yet. Nor can we get through there yet. Ha ha! I just remembered what the computer was talking about in that text. You need to find a security room to unlock those doors. However, the security rooms are never marked on the map. Never. Which means you have to go exploring Metroid style and look for it. Awesome. Oh geez, that was close. Anyway, there's a single door up here. The doors we need to unlock are the blue ones. Since we do that, we can check out what's behind the blue doors. Charge beam is handy. Especially if you want to save some missiles. By the way, this is, if you hadn't noticed already from the music, this is like a jungle-like area. Music change. This is the music of a security room. Now we can go through blue doors. Yay. Yay, we can go through blue doors. Come on, there we go. Don't underspit the usefulness of the charge beam if you're trying to plow through the enemies. Like I said, get used to that sound. You're going to be hearing it a lot. At least for now, while my beam is still kind of weak. Spoiler alert, your beam gets stronger in this game. Alright, let's check, check what's in that blue room first. Metroid, also known as Samus doing parkour all the time. Here's a better explanation. See, notice how I end up a bit lower in the wall than before? When I try to hold right? Because you can't do that. Oh, I can't do what's here yet. There is something here. I know that for a fact. Oh god. Doo doo doo. Let's just head towards the da data room now. Whoops, I missed. Oh god. The charge jump is also a super handy ability. Especially for dealing with those guys. This is a data room. He can give us abilities without having to fight a boss first. And we get the most useful ability in the game. Bombs. Because they can reveal blocks and stuff. And are critical for finding secrets and stuff. Did you hear that? Uh-oh. The SAX locked us in.
Worry not. We have bombs! Oh. I think I want to check what's up here first. One of these has a secret. Yeah, it's this one. To find the missile expansion! Anything else? Nope. Getting a bunch of missile expansions early is really handy. This is why you can't. Re it's harder to get out of here. Ow. That was a nice. I don't remember where you should go first to get secrets. Ow! This guy's hit me again. What was it over here? Ah, uh, there was something over here. I knew there was something here. Even if it wasn't a secret. <laughs> Even though the sector looks so small, it has a lot to, to it, actually. That are green areas that you cannot see on the map. So be prepared to explore for a while. Because the map will not tell you where to go in here. I don't think I ever found anything up here. I'm pretty sure there was something. Oh yes, there was. I knew there was something here. But can we do it yet, is the question. I don't think we can do this without a certain power-up. Unless... I don't remember how to infinite bomb jump in this game. I don't know how to do it in fusion. I've it's really easy to do in zero mission, and you can do it in Super Metroid with enough practice. Although I suck at it in Super Metroid. I don't even know if you can infinite bomb jump in the this Metroid series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a method to infinitely jump up into the air as a bomb. And also, a little demonstration, bombs could hurt enemies. I think we want to go down here first. Unless this is the wrong way, it's the wrong way. By the way, it's a kind of, sort of, not really maze getting down through here. And I need to find a safe point soon. So that I can call this a video. Oh god. Let's not get fucked up by those guys again. Oh god. I just remembered the thing about those guys. Whenever you hit them with something, spikes come flying out. They don't do much damage, but they're still pretty annoying. Yet again, another classic Metroid enemy, however, from the original game. Can you go in here now? Yes, you can. That guy takes a lot of shit to take down, but he gives you a red particle if you're low on health or anything. So that is very handy to know. If you're low on health and missiles here, Kill that guy. I totally saw that. You see down below? Looks like you can get there somehow? Maybe there's an area below here. Like I said, I don't know nearly all the secrets in this game. If I remember right, you bomb the shit out of the floor and make that come up. 
Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know either, but that's what you do. I believe there's a save point just to the right here. This is another grinding room. Because there's a bunch of really easy to kill enemies here. As well as a way to completely bypass it. I will show you next episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion Hard Mode. See you guys then.